Welcome to the Infant Assessment NFP Training. Working with us today are Justin Bailey, Travis Stowe, and Grant Williams from the University of Michigan Flint Nursing Program, BSN 38. Our objective today is to teach you to be able to perform a general assessment. Our general assessment consists of five steps, easily remembered as A, B, C, D, and E. A stands for appearance, B for breathing, C for circulation, D for disability, and E for environment. A is for appearance. Is the baby awake and alert? Is the baby respons responsive? Does the baby appear peaceful or distressed? You would also want to look for age-appropriate developmental milestones. For an infant, is the baby opening their eyes? Are they moving their extremities? For an older child, they might be sitting up, they might be running or walking, they might be holding on to things or feeding themselves. B is for breathing. Look at the baby. Observe the chest. Do you see easy respirations or labored? Does it look like the baby is working to breathe at all? If the baby looks like they have labored respirations, ask the parent, has the baby been sick? If the baby's been sick, ask the parent if they have a blue nasal bulb syringe. Do they know how to use it? Demonstrate how to use it. Make sure you depress the bulb, then suction out the nose, and then empty the bulb. Make sure that you have the parent demonstrate back to you so that you're sure that they have learned this lesson. Remind the parents that babies are obligate nose breathers. This means that they will appear to be in respiratory distress if their nose is plugged because they don't know enough to open their mouths and simply breathe through their mouth. C is for circulation. Here, we want to observe the baby's skin color. Does it appear appropriate for the baby's ethnicity? We can check cap refill easily by pushing on the center of the forehead, touching the tip of the nose, or checking on the palm of the hand. You've now touched the baby, so you've also assessed skin temperature. This is also a good time to check the baby's fontanelles, which will tell you if the baby is well hydrated. A well hydrated baby's fontanelles will be flat and soft. If the fontanelles are depressed, it means that the baby could be dehydrated, and you should suggest them to seek medical attention. D is for disability. Does the baby have any obvious disabilities or deformities? E is for environment. Does the baby have his own bed, his own place to sleep? Whether it be a crib or a playpen or a bassinet, sleeping in their own safe place is the safest environment for a baby. This environment also should not have extra blankets, extra pillows, stuffed animals. It should consist of just one flat fitted sheet and a swaddled blanket for the baby, a hat if the temperature is cool. Check and see if there are too many blankets or not enough blankets, too much clothing, not enough clothing. Babies do not regulate their temperature well. So you have to keep them comfortable. If you put too many clothes on them, they'll get too warm. If you put not enough clothes on them, they'll get too cold. And just to recap, the five steps of our general assessment are appearance, breathing, circulation, disability, and environment. 
If any of these assessment areas are abnormal, you should recommend follow-up with the baby's primary health care provider. If the baby appears to be in significant distress, direct the parents to call the provider and or take the child to the emergency department. This concludes the general infant assessment NFP training. Thank you.